So in this session, we will discuss about how to delete multiple files for GridFS collections with loop by using for loop. So how to write the API for deletion of multiple files? Okay. There are two methods with using for loop and without using any loop. How can you achieve that functionality? Okay, so here just I am going to execute the insert API. I'm dropping this collection. And calling this insert API. File storage uploads method. And here I am taking four files to be uploaded. Click on send button. You can observe this. See four records, four documents are available in MongoDB. File uploads dot files collection. So these are the chunks files related to that file uploads dot file collection. If you refresh these collections, then only you can be able to visible see this collection name. Okay. Now I am going to write the API. So for this. What I am going to do is these are the summarized points about what I am going to do. Okay. First one, I am going to take the logic what we have discussed on yesterday, which is used for deletion of single file. Okay. And I will take entire logic and put in one function with promise. Okay. We have discussed about promise, resolve, resolve and reject. Okay. After that, so we have a logic for deletion of single file. Okay. So I will use for loop, which is based on input. Suppose if I send five files or ten files, so that entire single file deletion API will be called for five times or ten times. Okay. So and finally, I want to return, suppose. Among the five files or ten files, some files may be exist, some files may not be exist. Okay. So how to return exist files? I mean deleted files and not exist file names. Okay, that thing also I want to discuss in this session only. So first of all, take this entire logic. And write new new API rotor dot post delete multiple file storage and use async request response use try catch. For that, write one function here. Uh, that function should be a sync function, and name is delete single file storage. Is the function here return. New promise new 
here resolve reject here paste that entire logic here body dot file name is there that will come as a parameter that i'm going to take param file name equal to request dot body dot file name okay so i'm going to take that file name into this variable file name that will come the minute is the letter name file name here is one is two is three is four is five so here image file is not available okay what will be that method delete multiple file storage so this is array okay here file name array if we by using this statement we can have all these array elements in file name array okay file names array and i am going to declare two variables in exist and not exist and these are arrays and use the for loop let i equal to 0 i less than file names array dot length i plus plus okay. let function result equal to await this is the function name okay. this function name will expect one parameter that is called file name okay file names array of i so file names array of i means first iteration this image one will go okay second iteration image two will third one is image three okay so file names array of i and so here param file name okay. replace param file name 
space of body dot file name. And here we should not use res.send, right? Use console.log in place of res.send. Next. Put a pink Now it is fine. OK, so and. Wherever this console dot log is there. You just give. Resolve method, so here let. A equal to zero. Here is all of A. Before that, I am going to change that value one and Wherever this uh, type of response except 400, I'm going to return resolve of A. Okay, that is one. And after calling this function, I'm writing one condition. This value is zero. One res function result is zero. So that means I'm going to take that file name and push it into not exist array. Okay. Not exist dot push of file name array of I. Else exist dot push file names array of i okay. and after completion of all iterations i am going to return res dot send 
status 200 and message success after that not exist file names is not exist and exist file names is exist array okay. and here res dot send new error response of 400 and error dot message okay. this logic only i am writing so if function function result is zero that means i am going to return that that element does not exist okay Don't take this value. Whenever all the documents from files and chunks, whenever all the documents related to the files and chunks are deleted only, that function should return one. Okay, except returns zero. Now it is fine. The function returns zero means initially we have uh, a variable is initialized with zero. Okay, so when it becomes one means if the all chunks and files are deleted from those two collections, then only it becomes one. Otherwise, that zero will be returned by functions. Okay. Execute it. And go to this. Here I am giving image 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So here what type of message I have to get means 200 success and uh, uh, not exist. Not exist file names means image 5. Exist file names means image 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, so logic is correct. Okay, and you can check in database also. Zero records, zero records. Okay, when I click, when I click on send button again, then not exist file names becomes one image one two three four five okay or else any exception comes no okay so non-exist file names becomes one two three four five exist file names means so these files are not exist why because this collection is empty empty collection we have already deleted okay. so this is the way to capture not exist file names and exist file names okay so i didn't write any logic except this for loop okay so what we have discussed on yesterday okay from this what we have discussed on yesterday so i take the i took that logic and put in function by using promise okay so in this I initialized one variable a that is with zero and whenever all the documents are deleted from files and chunks i make it as a as one and resolve of a okay and remaining cases i am resolving i am returning that a value as it is that be, that is zero okay so here function i am calling in each and every iteration and take that first uh, each and every file name and passing to this function if the function result is zero 
then I am going to take that file name and push it into not exist array. That means that file name does not exist in database. Else, file name is deleted. So, so file name, I am pushing that file name into exist array. That means that that file name already exists and deleted. Okay, I am giving that not exist file name and exist file name. But this is not recommendable. Why? So here I am sending multiple file names 5, 10. Okay. For this case, it is okay. But if I send thousands of file names, then is it okay? So here, how many types, how many times that database is hitting? Okay, that is the issue. Okay. So we should not hit more time, more times. Okay, we should not hit the database for more times. Okay, as soon as possible, we have to reduce the number of hits on the database. Okay. This is the drawback. So here, number of hits will be increased. So that thing we will discuss in next topic. How to delete multiple files without using loop, okay?